Well, there have been two characters on this year's season of The Block who have certainly ruffled a few feathers while doing some outstanding renovations. From the moment their stylish footsteps first graced the floorboards of the block, Mitch and Mark have certainly brought a new and unique style to this season. Their early rooms had the judges salivating in anticipation at the prospect of what imaginative design their next reveal may produce. Whether it's changing the floor plan or pushing the structural boundaries, this couple are certainly making a statement. Woo! However, since Kitchen Week, the judges have suggested the boys' lounge and dining space might not be in line with their kitchen standards. This isn't the lounge that I imagined that was going to come with this kitchen. But, as we know, kitchens sell houses, and Mitch and Mark reckon they're on a winner. Stop the press, the <laughs> lights are on! How flash is this? What do you call this edge here? Is this one of your design features, or is that from Kinsman as well? It's called and Kinsman were great with us, because we said we shark love nose. this shark nose because it makes the top look thin. Mm -hmm. We've managed to tie the rich navy. It's, it's fantastic. Beautiful. And beautiful. you can't leave fingerprints on it. I know, yeah. and I bet you've tested that out too. Yeah, you've done absolutely. this all over it. Yeah. Yeah. And the fact you got to design two kitchens pretty much at the same time yeah, means you get to just fulfill all your kitchen fantasies in one hit out. Kitchen, fan kitchen fantasies. Kitchen yeah. fantasies. Yeah. And joining us now in Sydney are two of my favourite blockheads from this season, Mitch and Mark. It's so lovely to have you with us. Boys, you have delivered a couple of kitchens in this particular property, so which one is your favourite? Oh, I don't know. I think the, I think the one in the main um, living area, it's pretty glam. It's pretty spectacular. I, I, I think they're both great, but they've both got a different purpose. The, the main one is for everyday living as well as entertaining if you need to, and upstairs is for, is for finishing when you're entertaining in your yeah. upstairs living area or party room. <laughs> <laughs> Slash party room. Exactly. There's always a party. <laughs> hey, of, of course, Mitch and Mark, the auction is rapidly approaching. We've been reading some stuff online that you guys have had a buyer lined up all along. <laughs> is there any truth to that? <laughs> no, there's no truth. You know what? I really like the fact that people are talking about it and I wish we did, but no, we don't. This Just because we, we, we shifted things up, people, I think, are a bit surprised that we did what we did. But no, no, no buyer. This week it was Roxy Jacinka. Oh, yeah. The new one. Oh, well, that'd be yeah. a good buyer, yeah. wouldn't it? Yeah. We'd be happy yeah. for that. Oh, we yeah. had Kylie, we've got Roxy. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> Kylie as well. Oh, oh so no. many winners at the auction coming up. Yeah. Look, yeah. obviously your experience in flipping so many prop properties over the year helped out with your block experience, or did it? Did it actually hinder because we move on such a fast timeline? Yeah, I think that um, the experience actually did help us you know each of the teams has different kind of experience and we came in having done properties before so I think we were able to plan ahead and the way we worked with our trades we were really used to setting out a schedule having the plan early um, Mitch I think it did help us in that way it also helps us when we're looking at a, at a plan we're used to buying inner city apartments in Sydney and we look at a space and how the space works best so for us that was yeah. the first step which we did call back on our experience in buying and flipping yeah. properties. The space has to work first and foremost. Yeah. yeah. But it's such a tough slog on the block. We see it, you know, there's a lot of sweat and tears. Have you got the energy to go back to flipping after all this is over, do you think? I, th I think so. We're actually already looking right now at another project. So call us crazy, but we've come off the block and we're already in, in process of hopefully getting something and doing another project soon. Looking at a big beach house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. and would that be in Sydney or perhaps back in Melbourne? I know you loved your time <laughs> in Melbourne. Or are you looking perhaps a little bit broader? You're heading up to Queensland to do a beach house. <laughs> no, we're doing Sydney Northern Beaches. Yeah. Out all of those options would be Palm good. Beach. Yeah. But I'll take all if, you, if someone will help us. Absolutely. Palm Beach, Palm Springs. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> Bring some more joy. You guys, you put so much of yourselves... I've just got one more question. You put so much of yourselves into these properties. Do you find it hard to walk away at the end? Yeah, I think it has been, particularly, you know, the block is it's so big and there's so much that we put in there as, as a team. Um, it is difficult to walk away, but it's a beautiful property. It's, a, it's an amazing property and, Mitch, it is so big, um, it's tough to walk away. I would love to have that home um, for, for, for our lifestyle. Empty nesters, lots yep. of grandkids, uh, entertaining a few parties would work perfectly for Absolutely. us. And that master living, that master on master bedroom oh, suite. Master en suite, I wish I had that at home. I, I don't like walking away from that because it's so stunning. Yeah, I believe you yeah. two have actually created your dream home right there in St Kilda. We'll be looking forward to, of course, our courtyard reveals on Sunday. Thank yeah. you so much for joining us. I miss you. I'll catch up with you very soon. <laughs> Thank you. Bye. You too. Bye. Thanks, Bye. fellas. Thank Thanks you. very much for joining Bye. us.